Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Project Bidoof. This is the series where I make 24 battle-ready Pokemon with a 6 IV Bidoof in the field and water one egg groups. This is going to be the last Pokemon in the field egg group, being our 12th Pokemon, and it is Lucario, a fan favorite and a quite versatile, devastating Pokemon. The moveset I've gone for here is the physical moveset with Sword Stance, Close Combat, Meteor Mash, and Extreme Speed. These are all moves that you can learn through leveling up, so it's a very simple breeding process altogether. We are going for maximum attack EVs and speed EVs with the Jolly Nature, but you could take Adamant. For our abilities, you could choose either Inner Focus or Steadfast. I think for the physical moveset, you're better off taking Inner Focus. In generation 8 they buffed this ability and they made it so that intimidate does not actually affect you which is quite nice so you can take inner focus if you really want to be cheeky you could take justified the hidden ability justified gives you a raise in attack stats when you are hit by a dark type move so if you know you're going to get hit by a dark type move you could try and switch into your lucario and get a free boost however i just really like the utility of not being flinched or items typically you run a life orb lucario is just so strong and you want to magnify this damage even further so you're more of a glass cannon hyper offensive type of pokemon so you do some self damage back to you and you just deal truckloads of damage you could take a focus sash and you could also take a choice band however not on the sword stance moveset for those of you who like a little bit of flavor there is also a special moveset we're rocking the nasty plot focus blast or you could use aura sphere so let me put aura sphere Flash Cannon and Vacuum Wave. What else do we have for a fourth move instead of Vacuum Wave? Let's just type in Special. You could take Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Psychic, or Shadow Ball. So probably take Dark Pulse just to get a bit more typing coverage, especially against those pesky Psychic types. We have Maximum Special Attack and Speed EVs. With the Timid Nature, we're rocking a Setup move, which is Nasty Plot. So we're just going to use a Life Orb, but you could use an Expert Belt, or you could use a Focus Sash. It's really up to you. Let's hop on over to Cerebi and find out how we can actually obtain a Lucario. When you first obtain a Riolu, you will find out that you can't actually use it to breed further Pokemon because it's technically a baby Pokemon. It doesn't have an egg group, so it can't breed. What you need to do is you need to raise your Riolu into a Lucario. And the way that you do that is through the friendship mechanic. You need to have at least 220 friendship. And then during the day, you can evolve your Lucario. I will explain more about this in the breeding process. You just need to know that we have the friendship evolve to obtain our Lucarios. And then when we have a Lucario, it will be in the field and human-like egg groups. Riolu cannot breed. Read. You might not be able to see it on the screen. Let's just zoom. We have the technology. There it is. Look, Riolu cannot breathe. Going back to Lucario, we learn a ton of moves and a lot of them are just easily obtained through level up. Just from evolving, we get our Aura Sphere for the special attacking moveset. You could also reteach it via the move reminder. Same for Nasty Plot. You could take Power Up Punch. You could take Sword Stance, Meteor Mash, Extreme Speed and Close Combat. I'm pretty sure the entire physical moveset is right here. Sword Stance, Meteor Mash, Extreme Speed, Close Combat, let's just double check. Yeah, Sword Stance, Close Combat, Meteor Mash, Extreme Speed. So very simple. All you do is level up to level 60 and then you have an entire physical moveset. For the technical machines, let's have a look. What could we take? Calm Mind, that could be quite interesting. Although I think Nasty Plot is just more potent because it gives you two special attack boosts. You get to keep the momentum rather than trying to stall and be a bit bulkier. Same with Bulk Up, you get an attack and defense boost, but it's just not as potent as Sword Stance. You could take Earthquake you could take shadow ball on the special side you could take brick break for your stab move and still have the utility to break screens you have focus blast as the more powerful fighting type special move although i swear this never lands at 70 percent accuracy it will never hit when you want it to dragon pulse another special type move we can teach nasty plot via tm we can teach drain punch we can teach sword stance stone edge dark pulse rock slide poison jab there's just so many useful moves by tms here so you have so many choices in the level ups and so many choices in the TM sections. Now for the egg moves, we have Vacuum Wave. Vacuum Wave works a lot like Quick Attack in that it's a priority move that goes first typically and it's a fighting type special move. It's a very unique move and quite useful if you want to have some priority on your special attacker. Some other notable egg moves include Agility, Crunch, Low Kick and Meteor Mash. However, you learn Meteor Mash through level up. Low Kick is more for the Ubers because legendaries are just really heavy, but it could be very good against Tyranitar. So let's talk about Friendship Evil evolution of course to check our friendship value i am here in heart home city this is the pokemon fan club it's just a little bit south of the pokemon center it's just around here yeah there it is so you just do a short walk 
You can even skip the bike. You know, a little bit of cardio is good for you. So this Riolu's level one. It's had nothing done to it. It's fresh out the egg. And we are going to talk to the lady in the top left. And she will give us a friendship rating of the Pokemon at the very first slot in our party. It's warming up to you. That's my impression. All eggs that hatch have a default friendship value of 100. So we start from 100 and we only need to reach the evolution threshold. To increase friendship in a fast and efficient manner, I always use items. Now you could just use EV training vitamins for this, but it would take you around 50 of them and that also costs you around $500,000. Not all of us have that kind of money and I particularly don't like to spend time just training for money. It's quite inefficient for the way that I like to do things. The way that I actually like to do things is I like to grow berries as it's easy. It's something that you only have to check up on once a day and you get lots of berries this way. So this is one of the berries which can be used to reset EVs and it also gives an increased amount of friendship points. Specifically, for our evolution needs, we only need to use 20. See, I currently have 69, so at least one person will say nice in the comments, I know. We can use 20 of these. Rioli became more friendly, its special death base stats can't go lower. That's referring to its EVs because it doesn't actually have special defense EVs. And now we can use a rare candy. A single rare candy, a singular rare candy. Now watch this we have our evolution. Immediately, we can evolve and be a level two Lucario. So let's just sit through that a second. There we have it. Our Riolu has evolved into a Lucario. Of course, this one is male, but I just wanted to use it as an example. There are numerous ways to train your friendship stat in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl games. I tested basically every single method when the games came out, and I came to the logical conclusion that using items, specifically in our case here, the EV resetting berries are the fastest and most efficient way because you can replant and obtain more of these berries whilst you're doing other stuff. Of course, if you just don't have these berries at hand at the time, you can purchase the vitamins for EV training, or you could simply keep a Riolu in your party while you are hatching eggs. However, I think this is the worst option. Even when you equip a Soothe Bell, it just takes too long. I'm really impatient. I like to get things done quickly. Keep that in mind when you're doing your friendship evolves. If push comes to shove, you can take advantage of the free massage that you get each day. But yeah, honestly, I would just go with the items method. For our breeding process, we of course have our Bidoof. My one here is 6 IV for the Project Bidoof series. And you will need to evolve your Riolu. Of course, it also needs to be female in this case. However, for you ditto havers, it can be male or female to get you started. You have your male Bidoof and you have your female Lucario. When you are IV breeding, you want to replace your female Lucario with one that has higher IVs, right? It makes sense as you want to breed up to have higher chances to get your five IVs in the desired stats. Once you have done this one or two times typically, you will then get Riolus that look like this. They are five IVs and they have the stats that you like. But that is going to be it for this video. This is a battle ready physical Lucario. It's level 60. It knows all of its moves. It has maximum attack and speed EVs. It has inner focus. It is a jolly nature. And I passed down Pokerus to make all of this much easier easier. Whilst I was training up this Pokemon via EV training and also training it in the Elite Four for XP, it evolved completely naturally. I did not have to give it any sort of items to boost its friendship stat. So please keep that in mind if you are taking this approach. But yeah, that will be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you're new to the series, make sure to check out the rest of Project Bidoof because I went into much more detail when it comes to EV training specifically. In the first couple of videos, there may be some Pokemon are interested in in this series too. I'm trying to just give you guys as much information as I can without making the videos go on too long. If you want to support me, then of course leave a comment, check out my Twitter. I do giveaways for every single Pokemon in this series. All you have to do is follow my Twitter. I have a pinned tweet with every single one of my Pokemon in this series. All you have to do is retweet the associated tweet with the Pokemon that you want to win. If you really, 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 really like my content, then I do have a Patreon. You could support for just a few bucks. And I also offer a premium breeding service for the higher tiers. So that's something to keep in mind. Leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm and also check us out on discord you're welcome to join our community we have a bunch of free stuff available for you guys too stay tuned tomorrow for even more project badoof we will be working on the water one egg group from this point onwards as we are at the halfway point in the series 6 p.m gmt every single day for the rest of july i will see you tomorrow 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 with another episode of project badoof